traditional tires and brakes and everything's going fine. But I'm wondering about when I should change the uh, timing belt because I've heard that they, uh, when they brake, you can uh, wreck the valves or... Uh, you, you have a 2.2 two two two, liter engine? 2.2. Two point two. Two point, I'd see if I can go for the record. I wouldn't change it yet. You, you're <laughs> shooting for the record. <laughs> yeah, but then I'm dead in the water. No, you're not dead in the water. If the timing belt breaks on this, you do not wreck the motor. The only time you wreck the motor is if, if you're driving a Honda <laughs> right, or, or certain other cars. Uh, what that I can't think. Older escorts. <laughs> because what happens is if the valves are positioned such that when the piston comes up, they can hit the valve. If the valve is open when it should be closed, right. then you destroy the, the engine. But not all engines are made that way. Only stupid people make engines that way. So Ford, <laughs> Honda. You know. No, well, Ford doesn't make them like that anymore. Ford but, fixed it. But Honda, in fact, still does, to the best of my knowledge. And, uh -huh. and uh, I think for, a, for an engine whose, whose valve train is operated by a rubber notched belt, it's kind of a poor design. But they do it to allow the no, engine it's to... it's not a rather poor design. It's a stupid... What about the Subaru? My brother died today. He died. Now, do you have a service, <laughs> memorial service for it? Yeah, I'm not sure. We may just bury it, yeah. How old is Subaru? Uh, 85. 85. I don't we know. Bought, we bought cars at the same time. Oh, yeah? You, you bought the better one, huh? I bought American. You bought them. So you're worried that his timing belt broke. And I may catch it. And you and may, yeah, maybe. Oh, it might be a virus, a timing belt virus. That's right. It is going around. Yeah, your timing belt, when it breaks. It's anywhere near the Lawrence Livermore <laughs> Laboratory. <laughs> When your timing belt breaks, it will not ruin your motor. So I should just go and keep my AAA card in my pocket? Yeah, do it. No, I would change the timing belt. It's better belt. to do it in the garage than do it out on the highway, on the freeway. Yeah. So that, that was your only question? Do it. Uh, well, I got a Model A Ford, but I don't think you can help me with that. I can't. Because I happen to be a Model A expert. I, I What's help. the problem? <laughs> Wait a minute, Peter. Yeah. Before, before I let you go, how did you manage to get 75K out of a set of tires? Tires, yeah. I rotate them religiously. That would work. Mine rotate too every time I drive. Yeah, well, no, I just switch them about every 10, 15,000, and then I uh, I run them at about uh, 34, 36 pounds. Does it sound like there's a helicopter overhead when you drive? <laughs> well, I have steelboards on the roof, and it kind of, kind of lifts the front end up. <laughs> okay, I was just checking. Well, that's, that's really good. audible, but uh, if you can see the air that's in them by now, you might want to change them. <laughs> they, Put some right. dye in the air and see if the, if, the co if the tires turn the color of the dye. Okay. That means the rubber's getting thin. Right. Change the belt. See you, Peter. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye.